Obviously, you look at the trophy and there's some great players have won this tournament and uh, it doesn't matter how hard you scratch that thing now, you're not going to get my name off it and I'm just happy to have it there. The PGA Championship was the first major victory for Wayne Grady. It was especially gratifying because during his first five years on the PGA Tour, Grady had been just another Australian golfer, a man who was lost in the enormous shadow of Greg Norman. People probably think that I've walked around trying to copy him all my life, but I mean, it's just the way things have gone. We both played for the same golf club. Uh, we both won the club championships at that golf club a couple of times. We both uh, get taught by the same fellow, Charlie Earp. We both wanted to be in the Air Force. Uh, both played in Europe for a while. Our first tournament win was the same tournament, West Lakes Classic in Adelaide. He was in 76, mine in 78. We both live in Florida now, play the US Tour. Uh, I mean, but that's, he's won 50 tournaments more than I have, so there's a big difference. You know, it's always nice to, to have your fellow players, you know, look and say, well, you know, yeah, he can play a bit or something like that. I mean, it's nothing worse than working your backside off week after week after week and, and you know, people just think, oh, yeah, he's, you know, he's okay, but he, he'll, he's never done anything or he'll never do anything. Uh, we all work too hard. And it's just nice to get a payoff, you know, in this, this sort of, uh, in this way. Wayne Grady's career has had its fair share of self-doubt. Back in 1986, he couldn't buy a victory. And becoming a father should have been a joyful experience. But it just wasn't to be for Wayne Grady. 86 was quite a funny year. Well, now it's a funny year. Because I got disqualified three of the first six weeks. Uh, out here, I... I finished up making $50,000, losing my card. Uh, Sam was born at the end of 86. Well, when I say funny, I mean, I don't mean funny. You look back on it now and you just, you know, it was just one of those years. Sam is Wayne and Lynn's four-year-old daughter, Samantha. She was born with Down syndrome. Her life is filled with love. But for Father Wayne Grady, it has been painful. I still get dirty about Sam, you know, think when I think about her sometimes I just get, it just annoys me, I don't understand why, you know, and again Down syndrome is not the worst thing in the world, there's plenty of worse things than that, but I don't understand why that sort of thing has to happen if there's supposed to be some great, you know, some great uh, person looking over everyone, how to, how to the, you know, how to, a kids are allowed to suffer and and as I say, with worse things than Down syndrome, it just, to me, it doesn't make any sense because kids have never hurt anyone. What does make sense for Wayne Grady is his commitment to become one of the best golfers ever to come from Australia. He has his fair share of critics, but to those who might say that winning the PGA Championship was just a fluke, Wayne Grady, the golfer, stands ready to shoot those critics down. I'm not for one minute sitting here saying, you know, I'm a great player, I'm Nick Faldo or Greg Norman, but I'm, I can play. You know, I can play golf when I get going, when my game gets going, I know how to play and I know how to get the ball around. But anyone that sits back and thinks that the PGA was a fluke, well, then I think they got rocks in their head. Whatever Wayne Grady has earned on the golf course, whatever he has earned in fatherhood, the things that he has worked hard for, like the love of his daughter Sam. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, goodness. Wayne Grady the golfer, Wayne Grady the father. Like the headline said, give him a grade A.